Hello and welcome to another AIC video. So I'm doing kind of a request video or a follow-up for a previous video. I have a pretty popular video, it's got over 20,000 views of showing my Compact V2000 upgrading it to an SSD. Uh, this is SSD that I used. If the camera will focus. There we go. It's a Xeon. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, M SATA. It's just a cheap M SATA drive. Nothing special because any SSD is going to be faster than any IDE drive. And that's what this is. This is, as far as I'm aware, the original hard drive that came with this laptop. The reason why I think it's original because it actually still has the replaced with HP spare. I want to say it's a 60 gig drive uh, that came with the system. I want to say it's 5,400 RPM. I'm not even sure. I don't believe it says on it, uh, but it's slow and I wasn't going to be using this drive because uh, I know just kind of how slow these are. And here is the adapter and the, it's full case over there. I'm just throwing these in real quick. For this because what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a comparison of the boot up times that's something that i definitely missed in my last video and so i wanted to follow up with specifically the boot up time so first we're going to do the hp original hard drive and then we will do the ssd i've had a lot of people argue with me that you can't get faster speeds with ssd in this system because of the limitations of the interface things like that so i'm going to let the drives speak for themselves so just so you're aware, first things first, hard drive's going in. Now there's not gonna be any cheating or anything. As you saw, this is the original drive that came with it. Flip that over, plug it in. All right, we have it open. And we will get a timer on here. At the same time, we push the button and hit start. And we're just letting it do its thing. You're just opening up a folder, just kind of get to that initial, hey, I'm actually doing something on this system spot here. And we'll do the same thing with the SSD. And there we go. About a minute and 22, 20, uh, well, that didn't pop up. So about a minute and 25 seconds before we could actually do anything on the system. So let's go ahead, shut it down, unplug it, put the SSD in there and see what the result is. Hard drive self-ejected because I wasn't holding on to it. So this is my least favorite thing to do is actually pull these off because I always end up just bending the pins. I'll just wiggle it off a little bit at a time. See, I always do that and then that last outer pin is bent. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend running the drive this way because 
you're likely to damage something. But since we're not moving the laptop after it's turned on or anything, it'll be fine. All right, on camera. So we're about a minute 25 to beat. I don't know if my camera is picking up any differently, but the first thing you'll notice is it is significantly quieter. You're not having to hear that hard drive grind away. And it's almost, it's almost a minute faster that's a lot of time at nearly a minute faster so for all you people that said the ssd isn't faster stinks to you it's a whole lot faster it's not a little bit faster um, and it, it's true for everything you do if you're loading a game if you're you can't really browse the web on this anymore but you know you're typing a document whatever you're doing it is faster quieter and consumes less energy running on the SSD than with the hard drive. And that's why I did the upgrade. Not because I was looking for blazing performance. I was just looking for something that's a little bit more responsive and it's a lot, a lot better. And it's using less electricity and is quieter. So and because it's using less electricity, it's also cooler. It doesn't get as hot. That hard drive is right there under your palm rest and you can feel it. So anyways, that is an update. I had this question a few different times, so that's why I did this video. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, leave those down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer those. Uh, the SSD and the hard drive you'll find in the video description, just like the last video. Uh, if you have an old system like this that runs off an IDE drive, this is a great option to bring it up to be a little bit fresher. Uh, a little bit more reliable uh, than the older hard drives can be, especially if you have, if you have one with a dead hard drive. Um, I, as far as I'm aware, I haven't seen new IDE hard drives be made in a while. They might make them, but I haven't seen them. So anyways, gives you an option to put a new drive in your computer, a little bit more room, a little bit faster, less energy, less heat. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.